Then he shows up in ECW in January of 96. And boy, he makes an impression on this audience with this unique style of offense in a hurry. Are you monitoring ECW in 96 or when does that really land on your radar as somebody helping with talent relations? Well, I, I, yeah, I, I was on the, they're on my radar, no doubt. Uh, because, uh, I, I had access to the channel. I think they were on MSG at that time. I'm not really sure. Yeah, that sounds right. I think they're on the MSG network and I got that on my cable package. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I just. I, I, Rob was just such a unique guy. And of course, you know, I'm, I was close and still am with Paul Heyman and he, uh, I was pulling for him. It's his company. Right. Yeah. He had a lot of family money invested in it. And, uh, I knew how hard it was to be in charge of a territory. I've been around enough guys that, uh, taught me a lot and I felt like I had a feel for it. And so I was always following Paul in his corner, still am this very day. If I, if I watch a WWE program, I, I hope that I'm watching one that has Heyman on it. Cause to me, he's the difference maker in making good TV or making great TV for the segments that he's involved in. So yeah, I, I did pay attention. And, uh, you know, a lot of those guys that I ended up hiring were because I first saw them and I got a taste of their efforts and their work, uh, on, uh, on the ECW TV show. And I didn't even know I was going to be in talent relations at that point in time. It's just the fact that I, I got familiar with the talent and I liked how Paul booked. So it's a wild West show. I enjoy wild West. 